Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are going to mostly focus on the core. Second day of our uh, beginner series appropriate for postpartum moss and for any beginner. Um, come to the front of your mat. Close your eyes. Roll your shoulders back and drop them down. And open the palms of your hands forward which opens the space between your collarbones. Extend your tailbone just slightly down, which action will allow you to connect with your core a little better. Pull the belly in and up. Activate Mula Bandha, which is your Kegel muscles, pelvic floor. One of the most important things in recovery and in core strength. Chin parallel to the floor, lift the arches of your feet. Spread the toes wide open, press into all four corners of each foot. Nice deep inhalation, followed by complete exhalation. A few more deep breaths here. Activating the core. Open your eyes and take a little wider than hip width apart step. Stands. Bend the knees so the knees are soft, take the tailbone under and pull the belly in and up. Pulling that navel, the belly button up and release and again. And hold, really as if you're stitching your transverse abdominis together and release and one more time. and release and again one more time one last time inhale your hands over the head clasping your hands reaching over to your right and over to the left Inhale back to center, shift your weight onto the right leg and take a big step back with the left coming into high lunge, reaching over to your right side bend. Great, drop the left hand onto your right knee, right hand reaches around, look back over your shoulder, lengthening to the crown of the head here, finding that alignment with in your body with your core. Inhale, looking forward. From here, we are going to take a small step to the front of the mat, pull the belly in and up and tap the floor with your toes on the left side and take a step back. And again, step back, three, four, pull the belly in every time. Five, six, seven. This is a very safe way to recover uh, the belly, and at the same time, we're gonna get the benefits of strong legs, which we all need. Seven, I think. Eight, nine, and ten. Hold here. From here, we are going to. Press the left leg behind us, ballerina style. Pull the belly in and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring your left knee in front of you, right hand to left knee, and begin to look behind you if you can, over your left hand twisting here all right looking forward from here you're going to bend the right knee and take one legged chair pose pull the belly in and up step it back take the right foot off the floor big step back into high lunge 
Clasp the hands, reach over to your left, lengthening both sides of the torso back to center. Open your arms out, twist, right hand to left knee, left hand to the right leg, look behind you, over your left shoulder. Inhale, looking forward, you can have your hands on the hips or above you, take a big step to the front, keep the standing leg bent, so we're working on the leg, one, two, three, four, pull the belly in and up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, right leg behind this ballerina style, let's pulse it ten times, one, belly in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come up to standing, bring your right knee into your chest, left hand to right knee, right hand behind you, twist, look behind you. Work on your balance, focus on your breath here. Excellent. One-legged chair, bending the left leg, right foot is in front of your right leg is extended. Step it back, chair. Tuck the tailbone under. Inhale, come up. Exhale, diving. Forward bend. Shake your head here, you can keep your knees bent. Hands on the floor, step it back to downward facing dog, pull the belly in and up, engage your pelvic floor as well, kegel muscles or mula bandha. in yoga we call it mula bandha. Inhale the right leg up and let's pose the right leg up three times, pressing the heel up, one, two, three, now bring the right hip over the left hip, pulse the right foot again, three times, one, two, three, keep the shoulders aligned, and you can bend the right knee and drop the foot behind you, allowing the hip to stretch. Great, look between your hands and either bring your foot or step your foot between your hands. Walk your left foot behind you, hands on the inside of the right knee, stretching here. Making sure that your right knee is somewhere behind your right ankle and not above the toes. Especially if you have knee injuries, but if you don't have a knee injury, that still doesn't mean that bad alignment is okay. We always want to follow proper alignment. All right, good. From here, pull the belly in and up. Keep your left hand on the floor. Take the right hand up. Shall we do side plank? Pull the belly in and up. And you can drop the outer edge of the left foot on the floor and bring your right foot in front of you, even if it's for one second. And hold here, pull the belly in and up. For the little more advanced yogis or stronger, you can take full side plank. For most of you, you will be here and you will do as much as you can. Excellent. From here, both hands on the floor and lift your hips high. You will feel a stretch through the upper body here, especially for those of you that have desk jobs or baby, you're carrying a baby. You can use some stretching of the upper body, great, back to downward facing dog, pull the belly in and up, take the left foot up and let's pose it three times, one, engaging the body, two, three, 
bring the left hip over the right three times pose one two three bend the knee drop the heel behind you stretch here look between your hands let's bring the foot between the hands either step it or walk it with your hand and let's fly that right foot far behind us drop the knee down and tuck the tailbone under squeeze your left knee into your chest Excellent. From here, you will bring the back knee off the floor, right hand on the floor. Take the left arm up, twist. Lengthen through the crown of the head, drop the shoulders down, away from the ears. From here, prepare for your side plank, right hand on the floor. Drop the outer edge of the right foot down and begin to glide your left foot in front of you hips are on top of each other and you're pulling the belly in and up you can step the feet together if you feel ready for that or comfortable with this and still keep pulling the belly in and up from here you will look down bring both hands on the floor and lift your hips so that you're stretching the upper body excellent step your feet in a yogic squat alignment so in a squat alignment basically and we are going to bring the hands in prayer press your elbows into your knees pull the belly in good from here you can sit down extend your legs in front of you forward bend come up from your forward bend and now feel as if you're being pulled by a string from the top of your head keep that alignment and bend forward again keeping the back straight shoulders down excellent from here roll onto your side and lay down and we're going to step the feet closer to your hips Feet are hip width apart and parallel to each other and we're going to tuck the tailbone under, pelvic tilt. Pull the belly in and up and really squeeze. Now gravity is helping you so do your best, release one more time. Release one more time. Release. And again release pelvic pelvic tilt our birds are back <laughs> and again this is really good in your core excellent let's go back to our heel slides gradually we're going to build up on everything we'll have easy days and harder days we'll vary things do about 10 heel slides here pull the belly in and up lower back on the floor opposite side All right, shall we check how well our abs are doing? You're going to bring two fingers, let's start with two, uh, right under your belly button or right above your belly button, wherever you feel most weakness, or you can check both. And you will peel your chest and head off the floor and 
basically push your fingers between the muscles uh, in your belly and see how how much space there is because we're gonna close down that space actually post in the comments below how much space you have now this is day two and post it if you're postpartum or just you have weak core and how much space you have now if you have more fat on your stomach it might be a little it might require you sticking a little with more intention a little deeper so that you can get to the muscle and don't beat yourself up for it, about the fat just accept it and move forward with getting healthy and feeling good all right from here enough talking uh bring your fingers down uh under or above the belly button both you can check some people have different measurements in both areas and come up and release back down pelvic tilt squeeze again because now you know where the muscles are and you can activate them a little better Pelvic tilt, squeeze. Excellent. One more pelvic tilt and this time you're going to extend your heel off the floor. Only do this if you can hold your belly tight. Five. Opposite side. All right, bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug, relax for a moment. Roll onto your side and come onto all fours. Now, in all fours, you're going to pull the belly in and up. Release and again. Exhale and squeeze. Exhale again. Exhale and again. Beautiful. Tuck your toes under. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet, exhale, forward bend. Bend the knees, pull the belly in, chair, tuck the tailbone under. All right, inhale, coming back up, and we are going to come to our wall. Facing the wall sideways, bring your hand out to the wall and walk your feet slightly away from the wall and you're going to pull the belly in and up and take your, in my case, left foot out. Pull the belly in and up. This is building your obliques. And opposite side. Pull the belly in and up. Leaning towards the wall. Excellent. Inhale. Coming into standing, reaching over the head. Side to side reach. Let's go for chaturangas on the wall because I want us to be ready for chaturangas in a month or two. So walk your hands a little lower. They're coming about where my rib cage is. Squeeze your elbows in. Holding Chaturanga here, bending and pressing back up. You can do a few of those. One, two, squeezing the belly. Three, four, and five. And back to the front of the mat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, forward, bend. 
inhale, look ahead of you. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Step the right foot between your hands. Come up, high lunge. Drop the back heel down, warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Side angle, elbow over the knee. Lengthening both sides of the torso. Reaching over the head. Excellent, plie from here. And opposite side, high lunge, look towards the back of your room. Turn towards the back, left foot leading. Drop the back heel down, heel to heel alignment, warrior two. Reversing the warrior, lift your left arm up and over the head. Side angle. Reaching over the head, pull the belly in and up. Plie. Here you bring your hands over your knees and look over your right shoulder, over the left. Back to center. Sink a little deeper in your plie. Come out. Face the front of the room, step up. Step at the front of your mat, lifting the hands over the head. Lift. Feel that expansion in the body openness. Exhale the hands behind you, and your mamas will appreciate that. And clasping the hands, press the hands away from you. All right, take another plie, holding that stretch of the shoulders. Sink a little deeper in your plie. And let's reach side to side here. Great, hands over the heart. Inhale coming out of this and we're going to do a little like a more of a dancey move. Pull the belly in and up. Step hip width apart. We're going to reach side to side here. So upper body from the belly button up is moving side to side. Belly in and up. Inhale, reach over the head, exhale, diving forward. Inhale, look ahead of you, squat down and sit down on the floor. If that's uncomfortable, this way of sitting, you can find a different way. Soles of the feet together, so let's stretch the inner thighs and hips. Step your feet hip width apart, hands behind you, and we're going to take tabletop. So hands are underneath the shoulders, feet are underneath the knees. And lower down. Let's come into easy pose, Sukhasana. Hands over the heart. Quiet the mind for a moment. Allowing everything, everything around you to drop away. Coming back to the moment. Grateful for the moment, for this very moment. Aware of all the sensations in your body, the sounds around you. Empty, empty minded. Just aware. more deep breaths. Right? 
let's blink the eyes open, hands on the knees and using your hands you can twist side to side here right hand to left knee, look behind you opposite side round the back, hands on the knees, pull the belly in, slight arch, look up lengthen the back of your neck, one more time round and arch one more time, round and arch and let's lower down from here we are going to bring the right leg in front of us for pigeon if you have knee injuries avoid this one and you can finish the class with the meditation if you can do pigeon align properly and flex your foot right foot is flexing hips are level equal distance from the floor and breathe into your hip You can sway here side to side, moving gently. And let's change sides. Stay longer if you need to. Pause the video and stay in pigeon for longer opposite side flex the foot moving Beautiful, coming out of this, come on to your side and here you will be laying on your side, we're building strength and working on flexibility, you will bring your hand right above your chest, um, in front of your chest, excuse me, and you will press yourself up and lower down, just three times, one, two, three, activating or working on the triceps and let's tip the hips a little forward and lift the right leg up five times excellent changing sides triceps three times tip the hips forward one two three four five from here we will open the knees out and bring the hands up underneath our shoulders frog stretch calves are parallel to each other flex your feet have something padded your mat or you're doubling your mat underneath your knees all right, from here, you can come sitting, um, sit it either on your heels or sit it in Sukhasana, hands over the heart, coming back to your breath, breathing into your belly. Stay here for a few more moments, I will see you tomorrow, namaste.